In today's video, we have a little bit of a late night special. This video is coming out a little bit late and it's going to be a little bit shorter than normal due to being busy today, but I did want to make a video for you guys today for those of you that rely on these. So we're going to be going over the quick hitting notes. We do have Tropical Storm Tammy here in the Atlantic, so we're going to be talking about that. We also have a cone forecast for Tammy, of course. We're going to dive into the upcoming storminess and then the total snowfall, actually. So that's the four things we're going to go over today. Uh, that total snowfall is looking absolutely insane out west, so we're going to be talking about that. As always, be sure to check out Prestige Weather in the description and pinned comment down below. We did just release our third winter forecast in there, so you can now access that for $5 a month. Again, in the pinned comment and description down below. Let's get into things, and again, like I said earlier, Tammy has now formed. Let's just take a look at the cone forecast. This is probably going to be the shortest direct weather video you've ever watched, because... Why not, right? We're going to just do a quick and concise one here. So Tropical Storm Tammy expected to remain at Tropical Storm status all the way through the cone that you can see here. Uh, it's going to be hitting some of those islands in the far eastern Caribbean by the time we're taking a look at Saturday into uh, a bit of Sunday. But by the time we reach Sunday afternoon, it will have moved to the north of those islands and be curving almost back towards the east. So as of now... We expect this one to curve back out to sea, potentially going even further eastward than Bermuda. That is the current expectation. Now, as we take a look here at the upcoming pattern as a whole, we're just going to dive through this. We can see trough in the east, coastal storms heading in this weekend starting Friday uh, into Saturday time frame with a strong nor'easter arriving for New England. Uh, and actually, as you can see, bringing some back end snowfall to some of these mountainous areas like the White Mountains, the uh, Green Mountains, and even the Adirondack Mountains there in New England and New York, of course. As we just dive further into things, we can see that we get snowfall diving into the west with a strong 995 millibar low pressure center here over Wyoming. And this is bringing snowfall to a bunch of surrounding states, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, all receiving some pretty heavy snowfall as a result of this system, uh, especially there in Idaho and Montana. This is in the long range, so take it with a grain of salt, but this would be certainly our first major snowstorm. Things start to get really interesting. As we see this low developing now at hours 228, that's going to be for Saturday the 28th. And this is now bringing snowfall to Colorado, southern Wyoming, and even into portions of Nebraska as the plains start to get some snowfall here as a result of this storm. And at the very end of the model run, we see Colorado into Nebraska and Kansas. We begin to get some pretty heavy snowfall. This is pretty common. And by pretty common, I mean, it does happen. This isn't an every year type of thing, but I have in the past seen these snowstorms in the fall time stretch into the plains. Usually it has a tough time accumulating, but it is always possible, of course. Uh, and we can tell that the jet stream by this point is doing a deep dive over the Western states a huge surge in the east of some warmth here as a result of this cold air pouring into the west and that is what's allowing for this cold that provides enough low temperatures for snowfall to occur here in the Rockies and Plains. Now again the total snowfall as I promised is looking ripe as you can see in the, in the grays we're expecting a dusting if anything blues two to six inches of snowfall purple six to ten pinks ten to twenty there and then the pastel blues are going to be about twenty to thirty pastel pinks which we're seeing some of that scattered about in montana that's going to be 30 inches plus certainly high amounts expected to potentially occur here over the next 10 days out west anyway like i said this was going to be a shorter video sure enough it was thank you guys so much for watching again check out that third winter forecast in the description and pinned comment down below be sure to subscribe for more weather videos just like this one though oftentimes they're more detailed and longer today's was a little special you can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video